Today, on the Feast of St. Mary Magdalene, we are presented with two powerful readings that shed light on the transformative power of Christ's love and redemption. As we reflect on the life and legacy of Mary Magdalene, we are invited to delve deeper into the mysteries of God's mercy and forgiveness. In the first reading from 2 Corinthians, St. Paul writes, The love of Christ impels us, once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore, all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. These words resonate deeply with the story of Mary Magdalene, who was once possessed by seven demons, but was freed by Jesus' love and mercy. Her encounter with Christ was so profound that it transformed her entire being, impelling her to live no longer for herself, but for him who had given her new life. This passage also speaks to our own experiences of sin and redemption. We, too, have been freed from the darkness of our own making, and we are called to live our lives in gratitude for the gift of salvation. Just as Mary Magdalene was compelled to follow Jesus, we are called to surrender our lives to him, allowing his love to guide and direct us. The Gospel reading from John 20 verses 1-2 11-18 presents us with the poignant scene of Mary Magdalene's encounter with the risen Christ. Having witnessed the empty tomb, she is overcome with grief and confusion, only to be met with the gentle words of Jesus, Woman, why are you weeping? For whom are you looking? In this moment, Mary Magdalene's eyes are open to the reality of the resurrection, and she recognizes the Lord. This encounter is not just a personal meeting between two individuals, but a revelation of the very nature of God's love. Jesus' question to Mary Magdalene is a question to each of us, why are you weeping? For whom are you looking? Are we still searching for meaning and purpose in our lives, or have we allowed ourselves to be found by the love of Christ? As we reflect on the life of Mary Magdalene, we are reminded that our own stories of sin and redemption are not so different from hers. We, too, have been freed from the darkness of our own making and we are called to live our lives in gratitude for the gift of salvation. May we, like Mary Magdalene, be impelled by the love of Christ to surrender our lives to Him, and may we, too, encounter the risen Lord in the depths of our own hearts. In the words of St. Mary Magdalene, I have seen the Lord. John 20 verse 18, May we, too, proclaim this truth to the world, and may our lives be a testament to the transformative power of Christ's love and redemption.